hi everyone so now we are installing php in mac os and this is pretty much similar to the installing php in the windows operating system why because mac os and windows operating system both are using xamp to install and run php all right so now let's move to the point so first of all we have to download the xamp for mac os we have to install it after that we have to start the apache server if this is not started automatically and what is apache server don't worry i'll let you know whenever we'll reach to that point after that we have to create a folder and a file with the extension of .php so that we can run any small program to the php and check is php properly installed or not if you will not understand this program this small program then don't worry because we are creating this program to check is php properly installed or not and in upcoming parts i'll tell you how we can just start writing the php program from the very scratch all right so now what we can do just open a new tab in a chrome and simply put there xamp download you can click over the first link apachefriends.org site and there you will find the list for xamp for windows for linux and mac os i'm downloading the latest one version of the xamp once you will click over this uh, after three or four seconds xam will be start automatically automatically download uh, downloading if this is not starting then again you can click on this link which is mentioned there specifically all right and here you can see that the link uh, the xamp is started downloading but i already downloaded uh, xamp uh, four hour ago so to saving the time i'm just canceling it and using the this one all right and i am just opening this xamp which i installed four hour ago in the finder here you can see that so once your xamp is downloaded you can just double click over this and after that uh, dialog will be open you can say that this is a xamp installer dialog again just double click over this over there put the password and that's all and it will start uh, installing after that it will ask some easy steps like next and uh, service agreement and all you can just do that right this will be not a big deal uh, actually you are doing the with the uh, almost every uh, setup all right so xamp is installed now we can finish its installation and once you will click on the uh, finish installation uh, it will launch uh, the local server on the uh, browser here you can see that now you may have some questions uh, like what is local server what is apache what, what is uh, mariadb php and perl uh, i'm very sure you know about php but other thing you maybe you are not aware so i am just opening this same url or just local host like this over the chrome browser and now i am telling what is this see local server means whenever you are running any php file you need a local server that can execute the php files and that is provided by the apache all right first thing second thing mariadb so whenever you are installing the xamp with php it will also install the mysql and mysql internally using the mariadb and perl is the another programming language like php all right so uh, if this server is not opening like after installing the xamp if you try to open the local local host and this is not working what you need to do just uh, search for the xamp there yeah xamp if xamp is uh, why i'm not able to type let me just open it again yeah xamp and if xamp is not there then search for the manager osx like this one so this will just open the uh, xamp here you can see that and just go to the manage service there you have to start this apache server and how you can start so let me just showing you by stop so once you will cl click on the stop this is stopping and if again if you will try to reach this url this is not working right and again you have you can start this so you don't need to start this pro ftpd and mysql server because uh, for now we just need the apache server to run php files not these two right so whenever we will need these tools we will install it we will uh, run them all right okay so uh, apache is installed we get, we can see that this because this is running the localhost service but how we can be sure like php is installed or not we have to just create small program of the php and test it with running that program all right so what we can do now just go to the finder you can close this and go to the applications inside the applications go to the xamp 
XAMPP files and there is a stdocs folder here you can create a another folder uh, for example test or anything whatever you want to put there right but keep in mind this folder should be only inside the XAMPP and stdocs folder after that let's open this folder to the uh, vs code editor or you can use any code editor like uh, notepad plus plus sublime brackets even eclipse you can also use right so for that simple is that i'm dragging it to the terminal and once i'll drag it to the terminal the terminal will open inside this folder here you can see that this is the path and now let's open code dot there and once we will click okay so this is the previous file so what i can do there i can just remove it this is not saved there right so here you can see that there is a no file inside this test folder and there is no file uh, in the vs code also so what you need to do now you just create a one more file with index.php file name the extension should be .php or you can create any file name like uh, index or abc whatever you want to create but keep in mind the extension should be php otherwise your php call not be run so for a moment I am putting there uh, any code there right uh, if you are not uh, not able to understand this code then that's okay because purpose of running this program is check is this code is running or not not uh, uh, understanding you not all right so in upcoming parts we will uh, create some other program and there we will understand each of the world of this program all right so I'm putting there 10 plus 10 and uh, the output should be with 20 whenever we will run this program and at last you have to put the question mark also save it and after that let's open this folder to the localhost localhost test and here you can see the 20 but you can ask one question there i did not mention that file name index.php you can also do that but result will still be same because once you will create a with any file with the name of index that means you are just accessing the directly folder so that's why you can just see that if you are creating any other file so let's say this file name is uh, hello that time it will not work that time you just you must have to uh, provide this that file name right if you are putting the index.php or index dot anything that time it will work as a root folder so here you can see that a 20 result all right so again i am just making this uh, index.php and again you can run it without file name all right so that's all for this part if you have any query question you can ask me in the comment box and uh, thank you so much for watching this video